honestly gave up expecting any type of like hype final conclusion to wrap up Mob Psycho after the Divine Tree. I thought we were done. I'm like, is there any kind of hope that we're going to have some next level threat? I just couldn't figure out who it was. It was in front of us the entire time. It was Mob. He's gone insane. I thought it would be from getting rejected by Suomi, but no, it's from getting hit by a truck. Thank you, truck. Even though this entire city is getting totaled. Now, everybody has to come together and try to save Mob. Even the X claw boss is dropping down from the plane. It's so epic. Everybody's getting involved. Let's begin today's episode. We need everybody. Not just Ritsu, not just the claw boss. We need everybody from the ultimate five to come back. We need Dimple to come back, man. Could you imagine if Dimple comes back and then, I don't know, with the divine tree and it sucks up Mob's crazy frenzied power? <gasps> he thinks the reject. That's what I thought was going to happen. Like the rejection is why he went crazy. Nah. It I bet he would take the rejection maturely. I bet he would. He just walked past through the store. Man, he cares so much about his job. Like, no, not my convenience store. So I'm sorry, manager. I guess he did be out of jobs. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, there is boss though. Hello. Hell yeah. Do you recognize him, boys? Yeah, we're calling out everybody. Because at this point, you need people like his level. Who else could come in? The rest of the Ultimate 5 too. He did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mob though. In Season 2. But Mob, I didn't think was going completely all out like that. He was still conscious. So let's see how they fare now. Okay, but this is kind of looking like Goku versus Jiren in the beginning. Where Jiren just took all the hits. And it's like, bro, is that it? Oh no. Come on. His knuck- Oh! I was gonna say his knuckles are bleeding first before Mob. <laughs> He's got more noodles on his head. He had the Naruto on his cheek, but now there's just noodles on his head. Can you take him out? Can you compete though? When he's going all out like this? He has to also go all out. I don't think he's really trying just yet though. Don't tell me you're going all out right now. Come on, we've seen you in season two finale. Right? No, we're... That, okay, his son showed up. Sure. Man. We're actually, because Mob goes psycho, or like, he actually starts to show his name. But, Sho and his dad might get some, you know, some little father bonding time. Because they didn't really end on good terms at the end. Maybe he's changed, maybe he's reforming. You know, it's a redemption arc for dad. He's just taking hits after hits. But we know he's better in this. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that's right. He can suck in the power. <laughs> this dude was just leeching the entire time. Who can really beat him in terms of raw power? Even if everybody teamed up, I don't think so. But if Subumi showed up, I bet he would subconsciously stop. Because look at how he still grips this uh, flower. He's still, I guess, walking towards the location where he's supposed to confess to her. I think it's gotta be Subomi at the end. Why they gotta do Teru like this, man? Like, they shaved his head off again, but really, you're just gonna show us his entire cheeks out like that? Okay. Father and son versus mob. Will it be enough? I want the rest of the Ultimate Five to show up too. Especially that guy that teleports around everywhere. He was so cool. But I don't think he could fight against Mob because when he left, he was fully traumatized by Mob. He just was so scared he left. What is this? Father and son Kamehameha? Oh. Take it right back. My god, this level of destruction. But it's not enough. Not enough, not near enough. What is he up to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you take my energy, I'm taking your energy. It's just back and forth. The f We're just transferring energy at this rate. Show you okay? Show? Oh, that took it all. Just powering up. Don't worry, it's not to protect you or anything. I wonder if you would say that like a Cinderay dad. By time. For what? Mob taking control? 
Just a bit? Okay, so he's still there. And when Tsubomi shows up, I really think he will be able to fully control. Inside, I hope. Big AoE attack where Shou can't get involved. Bring Tsubomi. That's what I'm saying, man. Bring Tsubomi. Huh. Like last time. Except it all went to the broccoli tree. Okay. Last time it only worked because it redirected itself, but... Yo. What is this? What is this? Reform dad? What is this? Like Vegeta going out at the end? You know in the Boo arc when he went Majin Vegeta he said at the end... <laughs> oh my god, he's actually gonna sacrifice himself? Nah, no, they... I don't, I don't think so. It's too early? He sees his family. Dude, this is a bridge you can't cross. Don't do it! It's a different path! Damn. Because deep inside, he surely has regrets about how he treated his, you know, his wife. And, and she was still there for him at the end, wasn't she? At the end of season two? Oh. Together? Hmm. Yeah? Honestly, that is the correct answer. Yeah. That's a... He's... Yo, that's a lot of character development for the dad. Because the one that we knew from season 2 would have gone all out by himself, thinking he's the only one that can do it. But this is great. No, this is... Well, it's not great for the rest of the city, but it's great development for him. He's going to destroy the rest of the city because you guys are running away. <laughs> Which is kind of fucked, but... Again, it's, it's good for his character development. I'm glad that, you know, the father and son are actually bonding and mending. Except, I guess, he still has to go to prison at the end, huh? Oh, no! Body Improvement Club! You can't stop him! Guys, don't! I don't want them to get hurt. Man, what Musashi did, though, against one of the Ultimate Five, the one that goes Hulk mode at the end, when, you know, I think Dimple took over Musashi's body and they fought. That was such a cool scene in Season 2. Oh? Who got naked? The mob strip is closed? No, it's the... <laughs> Alright, we're already in uniform! Hey, oh, that's a lot of muscles. Man, these guys are actually such good friends. These guys are so wholesome. Everything about them is great. From season one, man. Oh. I mean, if you're going... Hand to hand like this. But yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously he never uses true powers. Aww. Do it for the body improvement club, guys! Come on! He'll be fine, he'll be fine. Someone catch him, please. Or water. Someone caught him, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. Ritsu, maybe? Okay. If his younger brother can't get through him... It's gotta be Tsubomi at the end. But little by little, we're chipping away. Everybody he cares for is slowly coming to him, you know? Trying to, like, get him out. But... Still not enough. Ritsu has to go all out. I'm your little bro! But little bro, you gotta be careful, man! Wait, what was that bar? 35%. But it was a different type of meter. Is that, like, his recovery meter? If it's 100, then he's back? Cause it was like, kind of like turquoise green font. 52? Mm -hmm. It's still going up, even though he's gone crazy. Interesting. What is this bar? I'm confused about this, this meter. I thought we already went berserk. Yeah. This is not Ritsu's meter, right? What's happening? Oh! So that was a Ritsu's meter! Right? That's my understanding. And look, he's powering up. Okay. Man, the way that they handle like family bonds, Ritsu 100%. The way that they handle relationships and like bonds between humans. Oh, he's got to cast the flower. Like, it's so wholesome. It's got such a good message in this anime. Like, at the end of season two, it was like... The boss realized people need people to live, right? Humans need humans. The flower, though, if we keep destroying it, I guess that is the shock. But what if this backfires? He goes even more berserk like this. And then? I kind of feel bad because he's still trying to deliver this to Tsubomi no matter what, right? 
we're like, no, we gotta cross and shock. This will bring him back together. Come Fuck them flowers. He's looking at you. That's a very scary way. I oh. And then he appears immediately. Someone catch him. Oh, sh man. We tried to give him a shock and it just created a tornado instead. I hope you're okay, Mitsu. Oh, this dude. Get in there if you're a real Esper, man. A demon slayer, too. Oh, that was the daughter. The crazy. This dude, too. The other ain't no bean, dude. We're just seeing everybody met throughout the seasons. Tsubomi, get in there! I mean, how could you just tell this girl to go in there? Just, you know, there's no fucking way. But I think that she's the only one that can stop it. Oh. Was that Reagan? Reagan and Cities I was going in. Ritsu seems okay. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. I thought he got. Well, he did look like he got dropped from like super high up. I think you did plenty, but I think you made the situation worse. Like, there was no tornado before, and now there's a fucking tornado. Dude, this is like. His like other side, you know, the berserk side, right? Can you really converse with it? I am me, yes, you are me, and I am you. I'm also me, but you are me. Who is me? I'm confused. But clearly this is the, the berserk state. One or the other is gonna destroy each other. But maybe we can embrace them and we can coexist together. That seems more like Mob Psycho, the theme of being able to accept each other and move on together. Reagan's determined. Reagan's definitely a key player that could also do more like... Oh, he's got the umbrella out again! It's been a long time. But definitely Reagan could maybe make some progress to inner mob. Oh no, slowly piece by piece, it's gonna go to him! And then he's actually gonna have a phase when it's over! Oh no. No, stop it! And that's the episode. It's pretty terrifying what the inner mob that the berserk mode is doing to mob right now. He's like slowly by piece by piece. He seems to be, you know, trying to become the actual mob. But it doesn't make sense to me that we have to like invalidate him or deny him. I think because of everything we've seen from Mob Psycho so far, how it deal with like human bonds, about how humans need other people, how it's important to accept each other and coexist and move forward. There's got to be a moment where we're able to convince the other guy that, hey, you know what? You are me and I am you. And together, we're both me and we can coexist. Something like that, if, if that makes sense. I don't know, but I really think the last thing, the last piece of the puzzle has to be Tsubomi at the end to really calm him down. I really don't know who else could at this point. There's Reagan and Tsubomi left, but besides that, it's... I don't know. But hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to like and push that my small channel to recommend us so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.